I've got the crankshaft in what I'm going to call the jigsaw A65 engine for obvious reasons as we saw in my last video and I've got the crankcases all bolted together tightly and I've got my gasket sealant on the faces between the two and the sump plate on oil pump on, camshafts in and everything um, the owner Apparently, I never heard it running, it just came to me in bits, but the owner said it would be making noises and he'd suspected trouble around this intermediate gear, apparently. I can't see anything that I would describe as wrong with it. I'm sure you can wobble it a little in, the, in its bush. And you can get hold of it and hold it down and just sort of move it up and down slightly in the bush. That wouldn't really worry me, and the fit in the timing cover is pretty good as well, in the bu corresponding bush in that. But seeing as how he's supplied new bushes, a new shaft for the intermediate gear, I think I'll use them. But my biggest concern is I don't want to end up with anything that's too tight a fit, because... You know when you see a shaft, a gear shaft or something that's turned blue? That's usually when it's running a bush that's been too tight a fit for it. So, um, like I say, if this was my own engine, I think I'd probably leave that alone. But in view of the fact that I can just waggle it and get that sort of noise from it, and probably when the engine warms up the play would increase a bit, I think to avoid any doubt, I'll change the components for the new replacement parts. And meanwhile, while I'm waiting for gaskets and seals and things to arrive, I thought I'd start uh, making some sense out of the gearbox, because even that has been totally dismantled. This gear, uh, sorry, bearing in the end plate feels perfectly fine, but even that's been removed. I don't really know why. Um, all sorts of things and sort of stripped way beyond. I'm surprised actually that the oil pump wasn't in pieces. But anyway, I've managed to find most of what I need so far. And I've also done all this lot up tight. And basically, there's a sort of outer ball race, out, out board of the needle roller area of the time inside bearing. And there's a little sort of um, conical ring that bears up against those balls and then the timing pinion bears up against them and you actually set I've actually set it so there's no end float but uh, the end float or lack of it is all controlled from this end on the uh, SRM timing side bearing conversion so there's no shims or anything on the drive side and the inner race of the drive side bearing on the crank can just sort of find its happy place in the outer race and then the inner race obviously will be clamped to the crankshaft when all the primary drive gear and alternator etc are fitted so that lot there is done so we're making the boxes a bit emptier already and uh, like I say I'm going to move on probably see what I can do with this lot and then get some gearbox components together and uh, sort that one out.